Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fighters All-Star video, I'm going to talk about this false res resurrection Chris and basically we're going to craft him and we're going to level him up and in, in, in that process, I'm going to tell you certain things that you need to do and certain things that you need to avoid because uh, there are some situation right here with this character and I'll tell I'll explain the things when I'm doing the process and also I'll also be uh, reviewing the skills and course of this uh, character and I'll give my overall ver verdict that where these characters uh, will be useful and finally we, I'll show you how to get some more souls for uh, of this character by uh, doing some soul quest uh, and also get some rubies as well so make sure you watch this video till the end to know all about these things and please guys subscribe to the channel and give this video a like so basically uh false resurrection chris is a um as character he is a fast character he's a blue and defense type character and if we go ahead and check out the skills uh basically uh the skills are pretty much normal and on the second skill, you can see that this is going to apply uh, darkness to your enemy for the second, uh, uh, for seven seconds. Uh, and darkness, uh, we know, my friends, that is useful against uh, uh, linear, um, guilds such as Expert, Mood, Rugal, or uh, there are certain immortal bosses where you can use this uh, darkness effect. And also, uh, the other skills are almost average. And... One thing is very much notable here this she has a great ability as a striker and she is going to apply darkness as a striker so this is kind of pretty much amazingly uh, helpful if you get this character and if you don't even use uh, her in, in the actual battle maybe if, we, if you have a lot of powerful characters probably for example ss honoka or any uh, other club characters you can actually use her as a striker who will be able to deal darkness for seven seconds, which is going to be immensely useful in, uh, you know, expert mode guild against Rugal, and which is a great mood and it will really, really help you uh, in terms of darkness. And if we go to the course right here, we have this uh, uh, strike scale in her hands, penetration, defense increase, power gain, 15% power gain, which is kind of poor. And continuous damage enhancement that is darkness. Uh, it will it it will in increase uh, darkness attack damage by twenty percent, and the uh, increase attack skill damage to enemies and affected by darkness. So this is going to deal uh, a lot of extra damage to the enemies which are already affected by darkness. And now let's go and check out the skill preview here and see how she looks like and uh this is the first skill right here uh, though she has a lot of fire in her hand but unfortunately she's not going to do any burn damage and this is the second skill and you can see the darkness right here this is going to apply for second second let me do it once again wow cool man i really love this skill all absorbing right now the third skill right here throwing the air and trashing the ground cool very cool and this is the first finisher default finisher and it reminds me of the original crease that is uh, almost the same and this will be the another finisher wow wow this is freaking amazing my friends this is wow look at this i'm going to do it once again look at the transformation to orochi oh man damn I must, I must get this card, my friends. I must get, get this card. And this will be the final finisher. And let's see how it goes. And here, this there is no transformation. And this kind of uh, even, uh, you know, sh shorter in length as well. But this finisher, wow, wow. I'm gonna watch it once again. Look at this. This is long as well. And I do believe this is going to be an interrupt as well. So pretty much impressive skills right here. So I am happy the way things is going with the characters, especially the uh, skills. Uh, 
and abilities so as you can see that uh, I have some souls right here so I can get this character but let me just go ahead and we go to this false uh, roulette right here and we're going to finish this roulette and let me show you something that I kept this one single soul that I got yesterday because I want to get a combo uh, a, 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 you know bingo today let, let me just try if we can get a bingo oh no bad luck come on Ah, bummer. Woohoo! We got a card! Oh my god! <laughs> we got the card! Oh, holy crap, man! Oh my god, I can't believe my luck! Oh shit! This is so rare! I have been doing this for so long, and this happened to be happened on the time when I was actually recording this video. I cannot believe it my friends let me just receive this card right now and i believe that this uh, will be the one that i showed you and i have two souls that i'm going to receive these two souls because oh, once again two more souls ah i should have kept those two souls because ah oh, i did a bummer anyways so i didn't get a bingo um, which I'm not going to get, of course. Uh, well, I'm seeing a damn boss. Come on. Anyways, let me just collect these souls. So, though I was failed to uh, get this bingo, I was immensely lucky with the card. So, let me just go ahead to the craft. And uh, here's the character here. And here's the card here. Of course, we, didn't, we don't need to combine this card because I got immensely lucky. And here is the memory right here, which I also need to, uh, you know, create in order to uh, get uh, this character awakened. But first, let me just get the character here from here. And uh, actually, there can be two processes uh, that you maintain here, uh, and you might you may wait uh, for a bit more to get the character from the roulette because, as you have seen, that I got the card from the character. So in the same way, you can actually get the character from the roulette as well. So that will save a lot of the souls and which you can use by use uh, to craft their memories. But on the other hand, if you craft the characters as soon as you get enough souls, you will get the chance to play daily soul quests from where you can get those extra souls so you can get those memories. So I am going to create this character anyways. Uh, I'm not going to wait because there is no guarantee that whether I'm going to get her from the roulette or not. So let's just go ahead and create this character right now. Hell yeah. Thank goodness. It's only burnable waste. Come on. I wish she had double dots, man. I wish she had double dots. It would be really amazing. Oh man, that would be really amazing. And, and every time uh, you get a character, you should really uh, celebrate yourself because even if you are not using the character, you will be getting codex bonuses. And if you want to know codex bonuses, go ahead and check out my channel or search in YouTube that you'll find my videos about codex. Unfortunately, that video is kind of, a, you know, ah, I was like starting my channel back then. I wasn't even confident and I, I didn't know how to talk. That was a boring video, but anyways, it talks about codex and how to get your codex bonuses. And every time you get a new character or level up character, you will get codexes. And let me show you quickly in brief that how to get these codexes. You can get this from here. And as you can see that I have a bit of codexes uh, right here. And as you can see that uh, all star false resurrection crease time recruitment award. And I'm not going to claim uh, right now because I'm going to uh, awaken her uh, or level her up then I'm going to claim it doesn't really matter when you can do it anyways I'm just trying to show you so uh, we got our character so let me just go and I need to find her come on man so this is our guy here and of course he's a guy and he's not a she please so don't forget because he's Greece don't forget his keys. So we got this character here, a card here. And uh, unfortunately, this is a 5PG and 5PG. Uh, <clears throat> but okay, still, uh, still, it's okay. 
I am so happy. I'm so happy I will just equip this card. And now let me just level this character. And now one thing you should keep in mind that you must uh, invest uh, little resources behind this character right now because we are having an SS banner ahead and you should not waste too much resources behind this character right now. Just use those minimum resources which are needed to, you know, f farm her souls from the soul quest and which is not very much my friends and if you can actually get away by leveling her up to level 30 which you can do it just by using a couple of these uh, uh, you know capsules but uh, I have somehow an enough of these capsules so I'm going to just level her up uh, to five star uh, f level 50 but that's it I'm not going to do anything else in terms of leveling up as you can see I can actually uh le limit break her but no this is a big no because these souls right here we need these souls to craft her memories so don't waste these souls because if, as you can see if i try to uh, limit break this character first this is going to consume these souls so don't do it just keep her at level 30 or 40 or 50 this is just enough but for the course just go ahead and uh, and unlock the first uh nine cores from first three cores from here first three cores from here and first three cores from here and that's uh, basically enough for you guys that's basically enough if, if you can uh, if you want if you can unlock a couple of more but that's enough this will allow you to use all of your uh, you know skills against your opponent and in terms of affinity, you don't need to uh, use the affinity. It will not uh, really. Yeah. You can actually do this evolving thing. But once again, I would suggest not to do this evolving thing because maybe you are getting one of these blue characters in the uh, uh, upcoming SS banner. And maybe then you are falling short of these items. And uh, if you have enough of these items, you can go ahead and evolve her. As I, as you can see, I have a lot of these items I have already farmed, so I have no problem to evolve. So, but make sure uh, before evolving her, make sure that how many items you have, because evolving her is not too many, too much necessary at all. So. Now just uh, equip a good card set on her and as she's a defense type character we're going to equip this K set on her and I'll just keep this uh, you know special card uh, unleveled no need to level up right now because I'm not using her right now so let me just equip it just this type of a defense card set which will increase her CP a lot so let's just go ahead and Play some soul quest with her. Uh, where is the... Here we go. Now we need to select uh, the blue one. And where is she? Here she is. And as you can see there's a lock. She is locked because the expert mode is activated here. So we need to go back to the normal mode. We go back to the normal mode. And her lock is gone. So we can now use her against any character so let's proceed with our soul quest she's equipped with card she's at level 50 i hope she will do good and i know she'll do oh my god my first opponent this rugal come on man ah and you need to uh, fulfill all of these categories to get all oh my god look at those animations holy god man and rugal seems really plant and hell yeah, let's go. Oh, she is really, oh man, he's really powerful character, man. Really powerful character, even at level 50. Wow, look. And as you can see, there are categories here that you have to clear this within 120 seconds. You have to clear these missions within 200 or less hits. And you have to use DAWs three times or less. And 
for this uh, you will be able to get all these rubies and by doors uh, means whenever you are going to use your 3pg there might be happen some doors might happen and of course if you are playing with automatic mode that may maybe some doors happen so try to play in manual mode and do not use 3pg just try to use your active skills and basic skills and that's all my friends now don't even use the uh, default finisher at all so, because I have seen that sometimes see, this DOS thing occurs when I use default finishers for certain characters. So you can see we completed the normal mode. Now we are moving to the hard mode. And she, you, you don't have to do anything. She, she, as you can see, she's automatically selected here. So you just proceed. And let's see who is our opponent here now. Oh, Andy. Woohoo. Freaking easy, man. So you will not get those auto clear options because you are completing this game for the first time. Wow. And this animation, my friends, reminds me a lot of BS Original Zero. Really, really. And let's go, let's go. Come on. And you will be dead in no time. And look at the styles and her skills. Phenomenal. I love it. I really love it. And fortunately, see, I completed all those career, uh, all those tasks, and I got even more rubies. Freaking amazing! And we're getting more souls, which is also great. And finally, we are on the expert mode, and we still have one of these soul tokens left. After that, we'll be having an ad, and that will give us a bonus soul token, which we will also use. So let's proceed with this one in the same fashion. And I'm kind of really excited to use, uh, use this character and level up this character because damn man, I really love the skills. Super duper cool. I mean, as a free character, look at her skills. Full of darkness, full of something evil. And that's what is the thing I like from this type of character. So let me try from the skill number three this time. Oh, oh it missed out. Wow. So even an expert mood, see how, and ah, man, I wish he had burn because a lot of the skills feels like burn. He has fire in, fire, blue fire in his hand. Ah, man, I wish they had some burn. But anyways, the, see those, all these rubies here we're getting. And also again, the souls. Amazing stuff. So from now, my task will be to play the soul quests every single day with this character and farm as much as soul as possible to get his memories. So here we have now ads. Now let me just pause the screen and watch the ad. So watch the ad and here is the bonus soul quest that I'm getting and I'll be doing it on expert mode automatically. And for the, oh, hoo -hoo, nice. Yashiro is the opponent, but uh, I can actually clear this, but let me just fight against the Yashiro because uh, this is something amazing because actually Chris belongs to Yashiro's own team and she is, uh, he is one of those four heavenly horsemen of Orochi and there's a lot of history behind this character but the, of course not this Chris because this Chris is a false resurrection and look at this, wow, the beautiful, I could have just you know Auto player played this. I just played this for, I mean, for pleasure. I really play, loved playing with this character. And look at this amazing souls. And of course, you can do this auto clear every day. So from now, every day I'll be doing this uh, uh, thing and uh, auto clear every day. And make sure to use your soul quest behind these characters if you get them. And of course, you'll be getting them within one or two days, maybe because you will also getting those souls as the same as me and also i haven't spent any single ruby on those roulette and i i also advise you the same to not spend any ruby in the roulette it is not worthy so that's about it guys uh i told you how to get this character and what are the things you need to do just do not uh, limit break this character using the souls and save your souls, of course, for the upcoming SS banner, as I have talked about in my other videos that uh, what, uh, that the video was a guide on how to prepare yourself for the upcoming SS banner. Go ahead and check out the video in my channel, guys. And please give this video a 
like and subscribe to my channel for more updated and informative videos like these guys and hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome stay amazing peace out